But we begin this afternoon with breaking news in Lower Manhattan. A fatal building collapse results in the death of one worker and injures three others. Good afternoon. I'm David Navarro. And I'm Liz Chow. And it happened at a building that was being demolished on Lafayette Street. Officials say a wall and some scaffolding collapsed, trapping one worker under the debris. That worker, we have learned, has now died. The others who were hurt all suffered minor injuries. Eyewitness News report NJ Burkett is live in Lower Manhattan with the breaking details. NJ. Yeah, that's right, Dave. Lafayette Street, one block up from Canal Street, uh, where a chain reaction crash, a collapse, injured four workers, one of them critically. We have just now confirmed that that fourth worker has since been pronounced dead. Now, they were working on a floor that was apparently overloaded, Dave. The floor collapsed. That triggered a wall collapse that trapped that worker. The collapse left one worker trapped, buried under an avalanche of bricks and cement. Firefighters had to dig with shovels and their bare hands to get him out. FDNY Chief of Department John Hodgins. Our fire units were here in less than four minutes and they quickly assessed the situation and were able to dig out the trapped construction worker uh, pretty quickly and get him into the hands of the paramedics. Fire officials say the three-story building was under demolition when a portion of it gave way. They were in the process of taking the building down when there was a wall collapse. Um, there was scaffolding on the wall. When the wall collapsed, one of the construction workers was trapped by the debris and two of the workers fell on top of the debris and one other person was injured. No one else was injured. Workers stood in the street outside, some of them answering questions from buildings department inspectors and investigators from the Manhattan DA's office. The acting buildings department commissioner told reporters that the project had the proper permits and had been issued five safety violations in recent weeks. One of them for overloading the very floor where the collapse took place. Preliminary indication is that the floor uh, working level was uh, overloaded with debris and uh, initial collapse caused uh, collapse of the floor beams and with floor beams uh, independent vertical wall would collapse as well. So in other words, there was too much weight on the floor where they were working. That is what caused the collapse. But the site was issued a safety violation just last month for precisely the same problem. So they were apparently warned that this kind of collapse could happen. Again, four workers injured. Uh, one of them critically have just learned that that worker has since been pronounced dead at Bellevue Hospital. Much more in this developing story coming up on Eyewitness News at 5 o'clock tonight. For now, we're live in Lower Manhattan. NJ Burke at Channel 7. Eyewitness News.